Hello and good afternoon, everybody. This is Holly Stout, Director of Product Development here at Forever Living Products. And as always, I am so thrilled to be joining you on this lovely Friday afternoon to provide a bunch of information about some of our most popular personal care products. Now, when I travel and I meet many of our FBOs all over the world, I'm asked a lot of questions. And the training that we're going to provide today actually comes from the field. You've asked me these questions so many times, I thought we need to create a, a way that our FBOs can really have that rich information and understand the true value of our products. So today, I'm going to talk to you about the differences between all of our lotion, creams, and jelly products so that you can understand how to use them for yourself personally, as well as how to recommend them to your customers and the other individuals you come in contact with. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to begin with one of our most popular products, and that is our aloe vera jelly. What makes this product special is that it contains more than 80% pure aloe vera. That is absolutely unheard of. If you were to go into a normal drugstore and look for an after sun aloe jelly type product, it will have a very, very minimum amount of the aloe vera contained in the formula. But because we are an aloe company and we do aloe better than anybody else, this product contains more than 80% pure aloe vera. The aloe vera is actually combined with mixed tocopherol, vitamin E, and vitamin C to help support healthy skin. This is a multifunction product. You know, I love meeting the FBOs because you guys give me ideas of, that I had never even thought of, of how to use this product. And, you know, honestly, the most shocking way that people use this product, but I think is really clever, is actually as a hair gel. You know, because once it gets into the hair, it allows a moderate hold to maintain a style and therefore, it's a multi-purpose product. And let's face it, who doesn't want a product that does more than just one thing? So I, I'm, I've been surprised at all the many uses that, that our FBOs use this product for. And because of its 80% aloe vera and its vitamin E, this is an extremely skin-soothing ingredient that the skin will absorb very quickly because of its gel format. The thick translucent gel is readily absorbed by the skin because of the technology and the way that it's formulated. The gel is broken down into a place where the skin actually can receive it and recognize it as being skin friendly. This makes it even more effective for all of its applications. And it also includes Elantuin, which is highly regarded for its skin soothing properties. Now, this product can be used for a post-sun experience if you were out on the, in the sun a little bit too long. If you have any sort of what I consider to be angry skin, skin that's a little out of sorts, you can go ahead and apply that to this, the, the affected areas. I actually love to apply this on my elbows because for some reason it just seems to make my elbows a little bit softer. And I really love the way that our aloe vera jelly feels on the skin. So if you were to recommend aloe vera jelly, this is truly a multi-purpose, multi-functional product that can be used on the, all the way from the face all the way down to the feet. And as I mentioned, go ahead and explore. Try it out for things that you may not consider. Mix it with other moisturizers. Mix it with other skincare items. It's really a great product to add additional value to our already amazing Forever products. Next up, we're going to talk about aloe lotion. Now, we have propolis cream, aloe moisturizing lotion, and aloe lotion. And one of the most common questions I'm asked is, what makes them different, and when do I recommend one over the other? So let's go ahead and start with aloe lotion. Aloe lotion is really a a standard all-purpose skin lotion, again, to be used head to toe. It consists of pure stabilized aloe and a proprietary blend of lanolin, petrolatum, collagen, elastin, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, and natural vitamin E. A really wonderful, rich, 
healthy ingredient deck that allows the skin simply to absorb all of those moisturizing properties in a lightweight fashion and provide adequate moisture to the skin. It's an excellent after sun moisturizer. You know, I actually use my jelly just about with everything and I combine jelly with the aloe lotion. It's not necessary, the lotion by itself will do the job, but I love using this in collaboration with a lot of my other products. And so the aloe lotion is actually what I would consider to be an all purpose, all over body lotion or hand and face lotion. Uh, the finer texture is, is such that it's, again, it's a little bit more lightweight, so it absorbs a little bit more quickly, and it's very, very soothing to the skin because it is more lightweight. You don't have to rub as much to get it into the skin, and the skin really drinks it in. Next up, we have our Aloe Moisturizing Lotion. This is also an all-purpose skin lotion that's excellent for hands, but I also think that this would be a lotion that would be considered for somebody with dry skin. So your Aloe Lotion would be for somebody who doesn't want that, that heavy or greasy or um, feel that you have to rub in a little bit more to get those additional benefits, um, a little finer texture. The Aloe Moisturizing Lotion is really that high power, high moisturizing lotion. It again contains our pure stabilized aloe, collagen and elastin to keep skin smooth, soft and elastic, which means this when used on the face actually has some of those benefits to help with the skin's bounce and flex. So collagen and elastin, which in essence, helps to, to, to act as a result of providing a more youthful looking skin. Then it's got a proprietary blend of again the apricot kernel oil, the jojoba seed oil, chamomilla flower extract, and natural vitamin E. This is really a lovely formula and you know I actually love this on my face as a makeup primer. So I will either use my Sonia Nourishing Serum or the Aloe Moisturizing Lotion as a makeup primer because again, it's a little bit more rich, a little bit thicker, and it provides just this luxurious velvet silky texture on the skin. I have very, very dry skin, so the, the lotion that I prefer is actually this lotion. I do mix it with jelly every once in a while. Uh, my daughter, who's 14, loves just the aloe lotion because it's lightweight, it absorbs very, very quickly, and that's her lotion of choice. Now, when we say this is excellent for hands, our hands have a tendency of taking a beating. And this, because of its moisturization properties of not only driving moisture to the skin, but providing an effective moisture barrier, it's really good for hands. It will absorb quickly. It's a little bit thicker and richer. And this is a product that I really feel is designed specifically for someone who has very dry skin. No lanolin or petrolatum is found in this, which makes it also different th from the aloe lotion. It's really rich in texture. And again, it's very soothing because of that high concentration of aloe, the vitamin E, and believe it or not, the collagen and elastin, which creates a very skin smoothing and skin soothing effect. So here's a little graph that shows you the benefits, and I, I love it. I love to compare one to the other and really show you in a visual way how to differentiate between these two products. So aloe lotion contains pure stabilized aloe at over 65%, the aloe moisturizing lotion at over 35%, but we've compensated for that additional, that, that lack of the, the gel in a way that makes have more sense for severely dry skin. So it's higher in collagen and elastin. Now aloe lotion does contain collagen and elastin, but the aloe moisturizing lotion has it in a higher concentration. The, there are also higher levels of the proprietary blend of the apricot kernel oil, the jojoba seed oil, the chamomilla flower extract, and the natural vitamin E. Aloe lotion has lanolin, and petrolatum, which actually helps 
with that texture and that finer absorption so that it allows it to absorb much more quickly without leaving any sort of a greasy afterfeel um, and just makes it very, very easy to rub in. The aloe moisturizing lotion, however, does not contain the lanolin and petrolatum because we put in that higher amount of collagen and elastin, again, for very, very, very dry skin. And we want you to be able to work it into the skin. We want it to be really thick and creamy and, and super moisturizing to the skin. So we've compensated for the lack of lanolin and petrolatum and added a higher concentration of collagen and elastin which again are two ingredients that are notoriously found in anti-aging products. And then as far as texture goes, the aloe lotion is more of a lightweight, finer texture, and the aloe moisturizing lotion, lotion is rich in texture. So there you go, there's a very, very clear cut and dry graph about the difference. Aloe lotion is for someone who just wants a daily basic all over lotion. Aloe moisturizing lotion are for those who need a little bit of extra help, who have dry skin on the face, who would like to use it as a pre-makeup primer or any other needs that they may have. And finally, we have our aloe propolis cream. Now again, a lot of lotions and a lot of creams, what makes this one different? Well, first of all, this one takes a combination of our aloe vera and B propolis. And I don't know, you know, I love studying about certain ingredients and want to know about the historical use of them. And B propolis actually dates back to the time of ancient Greeks. And it was used to help promote healthy skin and is also recorded as being used by Hippocrates as a part of his arsenal of ingredients for healing. The ancient Egyptians actually used propolis also for mummification, which is quite interesting. And it's said that Cleopatra used propolis alongside her honey and milk baths to promote her healthy, glowing skin. The key words that I really want you to focus in on what I just told you about ancient usage is an arsenal of ingredients for healing. This product contains over 70% stabilized aloe vera gel and a proprietary blend of the propolis, lanolin, corn oil, and chamomilla flower extract. In addition, the lanolin, elantoin, and acetyl alcohol help to pull moisture back into your skin. Again, we talk about two ways of moisturizing the skin driving moisture into the skin and creating a protective moisture barrier to prevent any sort of water to evaporate from the skin. Well, this blend of the lanolin, elantoin, and acetyl alcohol are actually designed to help bind with water molecules and therefore pull those into the skin. So this is driving moisture into the skin. And then this also contains a special premix blend of vitamins E and A. So if I were to recommend these products again, I would recommend aloe jelly as a post-sun treatment for any sort of angry skin or skin that needs just a little extra TLC. I'd recommend it as a styling gel for hair, believe it or not, and a myriad of other uses when mixing it with many amazing skincare and personal care products here at Forever. I'd recommend the, the, moist, the aloe lotion for those who just want a lightweight every single everyday lotion. I'd recommend the aloe moisturizing lotion for those who need a rich, creamy, soothing lotion, those who have typically more dry skin. And I would recommend the aloe propolis cream as a soothing or a healing balm. I kind of consider this to be my, I, this is actually in my medicine cabinet at home, and it's more like a salve or a balm. It's extremely nourishing to the skin. If you have severe dry cracked cuticles or hands, elbows or heels, this is the ultimate delivery of not only our aloe and those moisturizing properties, but the soothing effects and the healing effects of the propolis. So there you have it. A very, very quick overview of the differences in our lotions and jellies, when to recommend them, and how to use them. If you haven't experienced any of these products, go ahead and try them. Feel the textures. Experience the differences between so that as you are speaking with people, you've had that personal experience that can that you can actually therefore speak from your heart and have the most authentic, genuine conversation. All of our products are made with the highest performance 
with extreme safety and with vigilant quality measures. So you can be proud to recommend these to anybody. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful Friday afternoon and we'll talk to you real soon.